Canola Council of Canada presents Harvest Management and Mitigating Loss. The only way you can get a really good measurement is get your chopper out of the way and the spreaders out of the way so that it's dropping it straight down. Once you put the chopper and the spreader on, it's really a guesswork as to how much you're catching out there. You can, but it's, it's less and less accurate. Just run along beside when the operator is comfortable at his operating speed, at it, where he thinks the losses are acceptable, and uh, yeah, throw it down. And you go in with it upside down so that you're not catching as you stick it in. The idea then is to stop basically dead movement on the pan and flip it over so that the combine passes over. Physically separating the seed from the straw and chaff can be the most time consuming part of the measurement process. So find a way that works best for you using one of these methods. Producers can likely find something that will work around the farm or at their local hardware store. Almost any type of sampling is better than not checking at all. Just remember that losses are not necessarily going to be uniform across the width of the discharge. The width of your pan depends on how you prefer to measure. For example, a smaller pan on a stick can be used to take measurements from precise locations. To get a feel for total losses with this method, multiple measurements across the discharge span would be necessary. A pan equal to the width of the discharge does not allow for precise interpretation of where the losses are occurring, but can reduce sampling error. There are several methods producers can use to determine what loss they are incurring based on the seed sample collected. For most accurate results, they can use a weight measurement or a volume measurement. The equation for measuring losses is quite involved, so we recommend downloading a smartphone application or using the guide available from PAMI and the Canola Council of Canada. If you use the guide, you first need to find your concentration factor which is the width of your header divided by the width of discharge. The graphs provided for weight or volume can be used. These graphs are based on a one square foot collection area. For larger pans, just divide the volume or weight collected by the square footage of your pan. Let's say you collected 12.5 grams of canola in a four square foot pan. Divide 12.5 over four. 3.1 is the number we are looking for under our concentration factor of 6. Slide over to the yellow column and you can see in this scenario the loss out the back of the combine is 50 pounds per acre or one bushel. Invest a little time in checking your combine losses and reap a substantial return. For more information visit the Canola Council online at www.canolacouncil.org.